your what's your relationship now with your with your mother, Station Mac? Because she was your manager, she not no more, right? No, she not my manager no more. You know, that's my that's my mama. I always love my mama. We just probably ain't in the best space right now on communicating terms, but that's mm -hmm. that's my OG. I'm always love. Damn, how, how did you find your mom? Like, how, how did that conversation go? That had to be a tough one. It was just a mutual thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really nothing to it. New. Michael and Joe, Janet and Joe. Still got to be a car <laughs> conversation because that's mom's. Like, yes, you she know. go hard for you though. She do. Like hard. Sure. Mm -hmm. So y'all still communicate now? Or? Not often, mm -hmm. you know. But it's still communication there. It is, it's just not like how it used to be. But I feel like that's just a rough patch in our relationship that'll get back to where where it was. When you see family public issues spill over to social media, like you know everybody saw the situation between your mom and your sister, mm -hmm. do you intervene? Or do you let them work that out? For sure, I'm always in a van. It's like, I don't want to see no shit like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm always try to get in between it before it go too far. That gotta what do you mean go too far? They was fighting and shooting at each other. This is Chicago. <laughs> this is Chicago. I might have to start adding Chicago with Florida. He said before it go too far. It was too far. They was fighting and shooting, Polo. Like, see, that's normal to Chicago people. Like, oh, no, that man. That is definitely normal to Chicago <laughs> you know people. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Is it even something that can be worked out? You think? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. We family. I mean, I like. I feel like cuss who I am. That's it's it's just being broadcasted more, mm -hmm. and like everybody gonna talk about. It. But every everybody family go through, go through shit like that. Shit, I'm accustomed to. I'm like, you know, minus like, the shooting. No, right. that's normal to him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how do you intervene? Because you can't pick a side. It's it's like you almost gotta just try to put them both in the room and be like, listen. Had this conversation. Yeah, that's that's definitely the angle to take. Cause my sister, a pretty hair strong person. She uh, she her mother child, you know. So it would definitely gotta be it. Have you tried that yet? Have you tried to have them work it out on the phone first, of course, cause you don't want them in the room yet. But to to try to get the, their feelings out and squash it, cause they mom and daughter. It's something that I want to get around to, but I'm definitely letting it breathe a little bit more right now. I, mean, I just like I just like the energy that y'all bro. I, I always like to cap a lot. I liked watching y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bro, this my mom is so fucking narcissistic. Do you not first of all, you never even believed in my brother's career. When he even came, I'm the one that told you to like no, no, Shaolin, I'm not doing that because this bitch wanna post all of this shit on social media playing with me. All right, tell me. No. No, bro. Polo G's sister Lilani speaks after she got into it with her mom one versus one. Bro. Y'all narcissists want to be fake parents. The reason why my little brother is even in jail is because of this. She the one introduced him to the penal system and at him, get him locked up. And then I, we come over for Easter and she want to be another messy ass. And now you at me. You want to, you want to, I, right, we can run it. Talking about. We just fought. And on my mama, we can do it again. We can do it again. And again, and again, and again. What are you talking about? Next, Polo G's mom shows the aftermath of the fade between her and her daughter, Lilani. So this all happened Easter Sunday. According to Lilani, she says, I walked through the door on Easter. She immediately starts talking about my appearance, how she doesn't like my hair. She did this in front of everybody. Next, I told her it hurt my feelings that she did that and confronted her about it and she started going at it with me. Next, Polo G's mom responded saying, Child, from Polo to Lilani, when is it coming to stop? Polo, you can't help her if you're making excuses. You did the same thing with Trench. We all see how that worked out. Leave it alone. If I stand on business with my kids, stop enabling them. I'm a piece of blank. Make me show all the times you told me I was the blank. And that's why I'm your mom and manager. I gives no F about money or fame. You a goofy. You won't care till your sister crash out like your brother. B, when I told them better, you enabled the bull. Next, she wrote, really? I asked for months for help. You don't reprimand your sister. You tell me you don't like me. Okay. So she shows the text message between her and her son, Polo G. Polo G says, answer the phone. Then she replies, you never called. 
Polo G responds, I'm calling you now. I don't like you. Then she responds, that's nice. And then Polo responds, I'm done with you for the rest of my life and know that. She responds, okay, LMAO. So, so a mother can cut hair me and I'm so we don't see the rest of the text message but what are your thoughts on this whole situation obviously Polo G wasn't happy with his mom exposing his sister on IG well that's it for this one I'm out peace the first time ever getting locked up was because of my mom she antagonized him the same way she did me during a dispute he attempted to retrieve his things and leave she hired movers to discard all his belongings and move them to an undisclosed location she at my brother my brother happily waited for the police to arrive as he was a minor she lied and said he broke into her house when offered to drop the charges she refused he was placed on house arrest at a one bedroom apartment had him living in somebody's closet introduced him to the penal system so according to leilani what we are about to hear are voice notes from her mom stassi that she sent to the family group chat get a gun jammed and that's why you ended up in jail because after the gun jammed with your scary ass Where's my chain? Where is this? Where is that? Your weak ass was scared because your mama was going to kill you. So let's talk about it. Listen. You know the mother gun jammed and you know you was going to be over with. But guess what? Today. He was in and out of jail. He probably went to jail like five, six, seven times. And so we had to deal with the trauma of that. And then he had this, I call it a coming to Jesus moment where he like was like, you know what? I'm going to take my rap career series and I'm going to be a rapper. It seems fast to everybody else, like them watching it, watching the, the, the songs be uploaded. We was going through real life family issues and trauma behind the scenes of that, like trying to keep him on a straight and narrow. So.